Hi, Pat Love back with Pat's Two Cents. This is a quickie. I was uh, remembering a conversation I had this week with a friend of mine. And they were sharing about a woman they knew. And I'm going to share it with you. Listen, some of you have children. Some of them are adults. Some of you mothers and or fathers owe your children an apology. Why? Because you have allowed the toxic wastes from your past, your dumping ground. You have dumped your kids there when you got angry. Your kids had to pay for the crimes of other people in your past. And they wouldn't pay for it by you blaming them. You would say things to them like, if you weren't born, I'd be able to do this. But then, no, 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 you had to be born. That just ruined my whole life. And so I forgot about all the dreams I ever wanted. I might as well just not even try to dream now because I got to take care of you. And they heard that all their lives. Some of them heard you say things like, will you get your little lazy butt in here and pick the, I told you a million times. I, that's why I don't take you anywhere. You're so stupid. You act like you don't have any sense. And then you start cussing them out and call them dumb MFs and, you, I mean, you are cursing your own children. Then you wonder why when they get older and you get older, they don't come by to visit you. They avoid you even on the holidays because you are still so full of your toxic waste and your, your, your dumping ground is where you live. And anybody that comes near has to be contaminated by your stuff, by your attitude. By your lousy way, I mean, your, your, your words, you just make people feel miserable around you. I know the term says misery loves company, but you really feel better when you make everybody else miserable? Why? How could that make you feel good? But somehow, it must. Because as soon as they come around, it's like a spitting snake you start spewing on them and then you wonder why nobody wants to be bothered with you and you, then you get mad yeah i've raised them kids they don't ever come around to see about me well look in the mirror baby ask god if you played a part in that when a person has a foul attitude and a funky disposition and they have a, a, a volatile temper and their words are, are cutting. Nobody wants to be around that. I don't care how well meaning you th may think you are. There is no halo around your head as much as you'd like to think. You may have done a lot of damage. And some of your kids that have done time in prison or who have gotten drinking problems or dope problems, Trust me, a lot of that may have come from you, mother dear, papa son. You have no idea if you don't take a minute to look at yourself, honestly, you have no idea. You'll always go through life thinking that blaming everybody else for all of your faults. Blaming everybody else for everything that's wrong with you instead of taking responsibility for the damage you're doing. And lives get ruined. You end up sabotaging your children's lives, your husband's life, your if you're a man, your wife's life. You, you sabotage these people's lives. You sabotage their potential as well as your own. Because you have spewed out so much venom. You are living in the midst of your own toxic waste and you make everybody else live in it too. Then you tell them you love them. Or you tell some lie, you tell somebody else you love them. Baby, you need to go back to God and say, Lord, I don't know what love is. Show me how to love my my family enough to heal them and apologize take responsibility for the damage i have done there may not have been that many family curses or generational curses 
But by the time you get through, wah, 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 trust me, there's a long list of them now. And they came from you. <laughs>